Hello and welcome back to Be Pharma Wise. In this video, we are going to discuss a very important point from non-aqueous titrations and it is the acid-base character of non-aqueous solvents. This acid-base character is actually determined on the basis of uh, proton acceptance or donation of that acid and base depending on the Laurie Bronsted theory of acids and bases and uh, depending on this the non-aqueous solvents are divided or categorized into four classes the first one is aprotic solvents second one is protophilic solvents third one is protogenic solvents and the fourth one are amphiprotic solvents in this video we are going to discuss all of these types of non-aqueous solvents and we shall also discuss what is the differentiating and leveling effect of the protophilic solvents so let's start so let's start the discussion with the first kind of solvents which are aprotic solvents now aprotic solvents do not produce any kind of solvated protons okay the second thing about the aprotic solvents is they are chemically unreactive or you can say they are chemically inert and so they do not react with the acids or bases you are titrating with and this is the reason they are very good solvents and they can be used for dilution because they are inert so they are not going to uh, react with your analytes the second most important thing is they have very low dielectric constant so they are not going to ionize much and they are not going to interfere in your reactions so aprotic solvents are on and on a good example of dilution medium examples include you know benzene is a good uh, aprotic solvent then your uh, ccl4 carbon tetrachloride is a good aprotic solvent okay so these are some of the examples of aprotic solvents and they are majoritarily used as the dilution medium because they are inert actually okay this is the first category now let's start the discussion of protophilic solvents now what are protophilic solvents you know philic means loving proto means proton proton loving solvents means these are basic solvents these are basic solvents now basic solvents again can be of two types they either can be weak bases or they can be strong bases okay so now we will study how these basic solvents act when they are actually used in the non-aqueous titration so let's take an example uh, suppose uh, hb is an acid and we are treating this with a basic solvent a basic protophilic solvent we are using okay now what happens being acid it will donate this h plus ion to the solvent and it will form solvent h plus or solvent h plus b minus okay so this is the case now i am going to take two examples for acid i'll take first example of perchloric acid hclo4 which is perchloric acid which is a very strong acid and i will take another example of acetic acid which is a weak acid comparatively weaker acid and we will study what happens when they are actually reacted with a weak basic solvent okay so the solvent which we are using here is a weak base solvent okay it is a weakly basic now imagine what will happen hclo4 being a strong acid will strongly donate the h plus ions to the basic solvent and the basic solvent has to accept all the protons from the strong acid and in turn it will produce the solvated uh, h plus which will be a complete dissociation are you getting my point because all the h plus being a strong acid what is the uh, rule of a strong acid or what is the definition of a strong acid it dissociates completely and gives out all the protons now hclo4 being a strong acid will give all the protons and this solvent has to accept all the protons and the complete dissociation will happen so this 
is complete dissociation okay now let's consider the case with acetic acid now acetic acid is a weak acid so it will give some of the protons not all some of the protons we could because it will dissociate only partially so some protons will be given to this weakly basic uh, solvent and then it will lead to you know partial dissociation it will give you partially dissociated product are you getting my point so in this case in initial case the concentration of this moiety will be high than the concentration of this solvent H plus in case of weak acid so now just look carefully the solvent has played a very important role and strength of acid has also played a very important role if you can understand this if your weakly basic solvent if your weak basic solvent is reacting with a strong acid it is going to accept all protons to give complete dissociated product if it is reacting with a weak acid it is going to accept some of the H plus ions to give partially dissociated product means depending on the strength of acid depending on the strength of acid weak base will either produce 100% product or less than 100% product say 40% product so this solvent this weakly basic protophilic solvent is able to differentiate between the strengths of acid isn't it it is able to differentiate the acids based on their strength if it is giving you 100% dissociation it means the acid with which it is reacting is a strong acid if it is giving less than 100% then the acid which with it is reacting is a weak acid so it is actually differentiating between the strength of acid and this is the reason why weakly basic solvents or weakly protophilic solvents are said to be differentiating solvents because they differentiate between the strength of acids with which they are reacting and the effect is called as differentiating effect okay now let's move on and understand what is the leveling effect okay now see I will consider the same reaction and I'll write the same reaction HB is an acid and uh, suppose now you are reacting it with a strongly basic solvent strong basic solvent strong protophilic solvent and it is going to give you solvent H plus B minus okay now let's take the same example we will use HClO4 minus which is a strong acid and we will use CH3COOH oh, sorry not minus I'm sorry perchloric acid HClO4 or CH3COOH which is a weak acid okay which is a weak acid now let's discuss what will happen when this strong acid reacts with strongly basic solvent now what is the role of a strong acid to give away or to donate all H plus ions present in the uh, acid and what is the role of strong base the role is to accept all H plus ions what are available because they're strongly protophilic they want all the protons available in the medium so they will accept all H plus and it will lead to complete dissociation now let's understand the case with acetic acid now what is happening is acetic acid is a weak acid but it is dealing with a strong base and strong base wants all protons available wants all the protons available now acetic acid is left with no choice but to give him all the protons available with it so in that case it is again going to lead to complete dissociation means whether the acid is strong acid or whether the acid is weak acid 
as the solvent is strongly basic it is taking all the h plus ions available in the medium and leading to complete dissociation now you tell me in this case is this solvent able to differentiate between the strength of these two acids no because both the acids now behaving as if they are strong acids they are giving out all their h plus ions and this um, solvent is taking up all the h plus ions available in the medium and it is leading to complete dissociation in both the cases so in this case now understand this sentence very carefully in this case you know the acetic acid the acetic acid or the strength of acetic acid is enhanced and it is now at the same level of a strong acid the level of both these acids appear to be same and this is due to the leveling effect exerted by this strongly protophilic solvent strongly basic solvent so when you are carrying out the reaction in presence of strong basic solvents they exert the leveling effect and such solvents are called as leveling solvents okay so now let me give you some examples for differentiating solvents differentiating solvents will be the weakly basic solvents like your ammonia pyridine these are going to be differentiating solvents these are basic in nature but they are weak bases okay and let me give you some example for leveling solvents leveling solvents will be the strong bases all your strong bases are going to be uh, your leveling solvents for acids okay now the third point is protogenic solvents protogenic genic means generating proton means proton so these are proton generating solvents so these are acidic in nature okay so the examples for protogenic solvents will be uh, the anhydrous acids like sulfuric acid hydrofluoric acid etc and the fourth type and the very important type is amphiprotic solvents amphiprotic solvents are the solvents which are able to either accept proton or they can also donate protons so let's uh, discuss how let's take an example of acetic acid acetic acid can dissociate to produce h plus and acetate ion so it can actually donate the protons and when acetic acid is uh, treated with acid like strong acid like perchloric acid in that case it accepts the proton from that strong acid and behave as a base to give this onium ion and chlorate ion so actually it can produce proton it can accept proton so this is the reason why it is termed as amphiprotic solvent and actually this acetic acid is used actually it is a very good solvent for non aqueous titrations okay so acetous perchloric acid is used as titrant and acetic acid is used as a solvent for carrying out the non aqueous titrations of pharmaceutical formulations so this is how we have discussed all the acid base characters for non aqueous solvents we have discussed aprotic solvents protophilic solvents differentiating and leveling effect we have discussed protogenic solvents and amphiprotic solvents as well i hope you have understood all these concepts and if you have understood then please like the video share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to be pharma wise and press the notification bell for the updates from my channel thank you so much for watching keep watching and stay healthy bye bye